tools and what other things. Not this tourist tourist travel. It is a huge, huge advantage, huge potential. But because of the various regulations. They are three years old. We go to class and tell them that become an entrepreneur. Never. We just take the syllabus, teach them, come out of the class. How many times we tell them? We don't tell them about that. Yes, every university by book or two, uh, whether it is government or the private, mostly the private, intuition center, they are opening up the intuition centers. They, there are at least two seminars on entrepreneurship. The experts are given, I can tell about my university in Mahadi. They are inviting the people to talk about the entrepreneurship. Now everyone is realizing that entrepreneurship is necessary. See Manipur. Manipur has a huge problem. Who dares to go to Manipur by road? And even if they reach, uh, tourists reach five fly, they doesn't know where they have to go last, where they are, they are far from internal problems. If that is so, we cannot have it. We cannot have stuff. We cannot have it. No, actually, my point was not that. You see, uh, in, in, for any country, if you want to go for a startup business, Infrastructure is the primary thing. And that must be there to grow all the sectors. Now, so far India is concerned, starting from our independence, till today we go uh, across the 0.8% of GDP in uh, resource and technological sectors. That's why even the global audience, Dr. Shekhar was one of them. We could have to purchase the instruments from Germany, yeah. Japan, yeah. US. For the security, the 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 from India. Make it India. Make it India, we are saying. But for that requisite infrastructure development, what part that I wanted to know what whole government should play. Uh, what government should play in other developed countries are being done by the countries like USA, South Korea, Europe, Japan, or other European countries. They are uh, they are having their expenditures. More than 2.5% of GDP up to 4.66%, just like we are telling about Israel. They are doing 4.66% of GDP in the R&D sector. But in our India, in recent past, it, going, uh, it was going below down 0.65% of GDP. Now, if this infrastructure is not allowed, so what our this uh, technical section to go here, how we can grow other sectors in these other countries. 
that was the purpose of the law. Which is for the long chain national startup day and celebrating it on the With that notion in mind, what infrastructure you are doing? Unleashing the tax rules, simplifying it, the forms, single window clearance. These are the steps being taken now. <coughs> Previously, to open a shop, simple shop, there were so many cases in it for a license for it. Now, what is the second step? Single window clearance. What we start keeping in mind, we start for this So, this is why I saw it in the <coughs> Infrastructure development of the road connectivity. Road connectivity, the marketing of this product, higher business. Not South Kashmir, Kanakari, Gujarat to Assam, or other particular Assam. The road connectivity, you see the connectivity of the roads. This is road connectivity. No, this I agree, but at the same time you see, in our country, uh, uh, just now you were telling about the literacy percentage, it is there about 7.3%, 7, 7 right at this moment. Now, you see, uh, more than uh, 31 crores people in India are now illiterate, okay, which is equivalent to the uh, people of the USA or the four European countries like that. Uh, leaving this table aside, we can't go on no, no. That is what I am telling. I have kept these people aside. What I am interested in the youth. 90% of the youth are in the house. That is an advantage. We need to see the positives. That is where it is advantage. I am forgetting the people who are above the age of 35 and who are in the No, I am not in the age. But indirectly, they will serve as a, 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 a scope for employment for these startups. Literate people also can have an employment scope in the startup. So, actually, uh, sorry, what I told, I agree with you. I am saying the whole of the government. Uh, you see, uh, starting from the independence period, all the types of was told that 6% of GDP will be uh, given in the education sector. In any view, it was told that six percent of GDP will be down. But in the days, uh, it is not common. Uh, if it is not down, uh, we know all the solutions. People from our sector, how we know the solutions. The reason if they are coming to use, you can do one time. Another country like that. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, respected uh, colleagues, uh, members, participants, uh, now we are in the end of the session. And I means uh, this particular it is uh, given by Dr. Rajiv Kusami. So, what I should say. Uh, my colleagues and uh, many of my colleagues come uh, from this institution. If I say uh, I am a resource person, I will say I am not. And if I say he is a resource person, I will say yes. Why? He is updated with the present environment. What is going on in around us? So uh, he presented a very beautiful lecture before us uh, with, uh, since inception. Uh, covering the economy, covering the employment, covering the, uh, the personal goods uh, perspective. And he mainly uh, highlighted that uh, what happened to our youth and what is the uh, problem facing by our youth. Mainly attitude, apprehension, uh, they are not clear about mission or vision. Uh, so we cannot blame them. Rather. Uh, this is a very motivated uh, study conducted by Professor Ravi Kusami. So we are, we are the Department of Economics and Department of Commerce. We offer our heartfelt vote of thanks to Dr. Ravi Kusami. Uh, he has come over here uh, to uh, associate us. He never uh, 
uh, he will not forget us, uh, I should say that. Uh, so he will be, uh, uh, the way we got his association, we are also very really happy. Uh, so uh, I again offer my vote of thanks to Dr. Jalabi Mushari uh, for this session. And now the vote will be given by Susitra. So we give order from the organizers of this Stadium Lesson Seminar. Now we are going to hand over a moment to, to Professor Jagdeep Goswami. This will be handed over by our senior host teacher of the Department of Physics, Dr. Jagdeep Goswami. I request him to hand over this moment to Dr. Jagdeep Goswami. Please, sir. I am honored to introduce you <laughs> I, I still think I am a part of the religion for I never thought that I am gone from this. So it is almost 17 years. I am out of the Feel the part, feel the part. Everyone, everyone who was coming. Sending cards and may yeah, I never I was really weird. I was thinking like a super no. And I am grateful that all the young attendees that you all have come up this career. So we are very much hopeful that in your future, whenever we invite you, we will get in touch. Sir, now we have a technical session. How many people should be? Present, madam, four papers, sir. Four papers, so five. 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 Or offline? Online, offline. Offline, will we let us take offline? Only offline. And offline and after lunch, we'll take offline. So, can we take three papers? So, in a quick, in a quick way, you take three, so then we go for lunch. Okay, uh, in this regard, I request Rupali Dalagaja from the Department of uh, History to act as a reporter. Come up with the task. <laughs> We have Dr. Ritumani Hazel from College of my, from my department of this college. And his title of the paper is Startup Business and North East India, a theoretical analysis and development perspective. Yeah. Of this particular session, Ms. Rupali Dolagaja, my esteemed colleagues, as a junior, 
and different participants from the different institutions. Then Professor Sampati Bhavadam, and although others students are not here because we are having sort of time. So at the very end, thus I'd like to clearly to use uh, from my side. Number one, we are having sort of time, and secondly, because of lack of time, I am not in a position to explain for the complete paper of my particular presentation. In fact, being a student of economics, I am trying to explain six hundred suggestions from your so that in coming days to come, I can complete my paper. That is why. So till that whatever I have completed, theoretically, as I am trying to focus on that, and there's on particular observations and study. As I am trying to report something before the house. So obviously it is not a complete paper, it is a working paper. So by, from, from the bottom of my heart, I want a suggestion from you so that I can modify that I can complete the paper in coming days to come. So the title of my paper is the startup business in notice in the theoretical analysis in the development parts. So right from the morning well, you know, all of you are discussing here about a startup business. A few months ago, our research person, Goswami Sir, also has elaborately discussed about the startup business. It perfectly noticed in there. Although I wish to listen and chat because of the BDC daily different activities. But even after that, so based on a particular personal definition, I just try to focus on that what I mean or what I'm trying to say about that particular sector. So as far as this, so all of you know. The although the startup business was initiated in our country since 2016 onwards, but officially actually what happened, the proper guiding and definitions to recognize the startup business as initiative started under the particular act. That means as per the DPIT, DPIT means what? Department for Promotion of Internal uh, Industrial Internet Trade. As per the definition, the after a period of 10 years from the date of incorporation or recognizes registration. If it is incorporated as a private limited company, as defined in a company since 2013, or registered as a partnership firm, that means under the section 59 of the Partnership Act 1932, or a limited liability partnership under the Limited Liability Partnership Act 2008, a particular business establishment and entity can be called a startup. Number one condition. Secondly, the turnover of the entity must be minimum of 10 years. Or sorry, uh, it must be enough. Uh, the uh, the turnover of the entity for any of the financial years since incorporation registration must not be what 100 crore rupees. And thirdly, the entity is working towards the innovation, development, or improvement of the product or processes or services. Or if it is, it is a stable business model with a high potential of employment generation or wealth creation. Now, considering all these three criteria, we consider. The startup business initiative that started in our country, including in northern part of India, that we can say that since 2016 onwards, we are right now, the startup business has increased from 471 in 2016 to 72,993 in 2022, as where already more than 7 lakh people that are earning their livelihood from the startup business establishment. Moreover, as part of the Department of Promotion from Industry and Trade, Government of India, it is reported that only 674 startups business has been initiated, has been registered in North Eastern State as on 31st January 2022. The question is that if we compare this particular startup business initiative in North Eastern region, along with taking a comparison all in the level, is the I will try to look around, question on that. So, moreover, all of you know that. Within the North Eastern State, we have more than 45 million people who are living. So, if we say so out of this 40, about 70 percent people of the North Eastern people in our state, in our region, they are basically they are engaged in the agriculture sector. They are earning their livelihood from the private sector. Whereas, service sector comes next, and the minister sector is still is a national stage in the region of North East. All of you know, we have eight states. All are geographically necessary very countries, but even after that. Whatever we have the capacities, whatever the potential is there to build a sustainable business initiatives, these are not up to much already mentioned by our earlier speaker as a in this uh, invited talk. But the question is that the region is a treasure house of the ample natural resources like oil and gas, agriculture resources, mineral deposits, immense hydroelectric potential, and significant 
for its resources are including domestic and internal market potentiality. All of you know, we have some kind of boundary issues are there. At the same time, we have some kind of international advantages also also there. So ultimately, based upon our existing natural resources, based upon our what our geographical location, ultimately what there is huge potentiality is growing our startup business at our region. If we can take a proper uh, initiative. So again, such kind of backgrounds as I am thinking to uh, mess, uh, spread the message here to examine the status of startup business in the region of North East India and secondly, to know about the government initiative of startup India in North East region in particular. So keeping in uh, with this particular two objectives as I am trying to try to assess uh, question here. So what is the present status of startup business in the North East region and secondly, what are the government initiative to boost up the startup business within the region. So regarding methodology, so I have already mentioned because of lack of time, I have tried to go through the some kind of secondary data sources. So because of lack of time, I am not in position, whatever. Actually, I was not was in my mind to present before the house. But even after that, within the limited period of time, I have tried to incorporate some kind of secondary data to give us a brief picture about the present status of the startup business in our region. So you see. So regarding the status of the uh, startup business in our region, in the first place, I am trying to show that the statewide startup business establishment in the northeastern region starting from 2016. And then you see, within the northeastern region, we have the eight major states. Then after eight, from children number nine, ten, and eleven, I have tried to incorporate three major states of our country where the startup businesses are maximum. So you see, within the northeastern state, I in the column now in the Row number two, I have tried to work in the and it will be not uh, regions total and then all in that total. So if you go through the, all the data available in a particular uh, slide, that means you see that the business initiative regarding the startup uh, business in our state or in our region is very much poor. And if you make a comparison, you see, in case of Arunachal Pradesh, it was completed in 2016, then we it was 2017, slightly invested to and so on. So ultimately, yeah. As per 2002, we have only 10 numbers of startup business recorded, registered in Kornasar Kodesh. Similarly, the case is C02 in Assam, in Monibi it was 79 total, in Meghalaya it is 23, in Mizoram it is 7 only in Nagaland. But if you make the total is in Nordic QC, we have only what 8,000, sorry, uh, 815 numbers of registered startup business in our region as per the DPII report. But you see, here, I have put the data from the Maharashtra. In Maharashtra, the startup business was in the 66 in 2016, which has 61, 86, uh, which has increased up to 13, uh, 2220 in 2022. So, Maharashtra is the ranked first in terms of business initiative, in terms of startup business, followed by uh, Karnataka in the second position and Delhi in the third position. So, from this particular theoretical uh, data, I am trying to convey a message that. The startup business the initiative or facilities, but are accessed by the other states of the country is not equivalently accessed by the people or we are not in a position to go to the startup business. Now already our customers have mentioned and it may be other issues, but along with other economic, social and political issues, maybe it is one of the mindset also maybe here also. But then in the second I am trying to show here the number of employment that they are getting from the startup business initiative. Once again, in the similar lesson, I am trying to show the North Eastern states along with the three major states of our country and along with that, what are the standards in terms of North Eastern total region and as a all India total. Once again, you will see, in case of Arunas Pradesh, only 69 people are earning the livelihood from their startup business and Assam it is 5,335, Monipur is 806, Meghalaya only 179, Mizoram 57, Nagala 199, Kitsik 58, Tripura 1005, and Mars is 156,132. That means, if we say, so depending upon the numbers of business establishment, as we look at even, the numbers of employment is also very obviously by default. But the question is that we have the so numbers of human business, our population is so much, but even after that, we are not in a position to grab that particular opportunities, despite our so much of so in the third, I am trying to show some kinds of the budget allegation for the startup business from the government side. So here I have some so from the 2014 return was to 2022 to 23. 
So if you calculate all the data here, so actually in the 2014 time, the basic estimates for the startup is the initiative was 36,107.56 crore rupees. But actually, what happened? How much is spent here? 24,819. That means more or less more than 90 percent funds are already utilized. Whatever the purpose proposal is there in order to boost up the startup. <coughs> Anyway. Then similarly, this is what's uh, also here. So in 2021-22, so the budget estimate was 68,020.24 crore, which is by US estimate was 68,440.26 uh, crore, and actually the expenditure was incurred 38,456 crore. So I tell you what I'm trying to see that. The government is giving the too much emphasis on the what spreading the what startup business, not only the northern region, but also across the country. That means along with the startup initiatives, governments are trying to motivate our young business people, our young generation, so that at least rather than job seeker, we can become a job creator. So the, whatever the startup initiatives so far that I have learned from my study during this short period of time. So government of India already have initiated so number of schemes. They have already launched for the uh, inspiring for motivating the startup young mind. So along with that, I have tried to incorporate some of the major initiatives uh, undertaken by government of India. The first one is the startup induction plan. So it was started in the 16th January 2016. And under this particular plan, it comprises the 19 action items spanning across the South Central area, simplification and handholding, the funding support initiative and industry academy partnership and inclusion of income based on. That means, depending upon the resource type of business, of business, the government is trying to give different kinds of technical and non-technical and finance assistance so that we can accelerate, we can give the all kind of support to this particular sector which already helps in the economy. Then, so because of time concerns, just I will uh, try to skip the or to uh, read the entire funds, the measure funds I have to highlight here. The second one is the fund of funds for startup business. So we have under this one event, around 10,000 corpus funds already uh, arranged by the government of India as for the DPIT report in order to help for this particular startup business initiatives. Then regulatory reform, under this particular strategy and advice of the government of India, 50, 52 regulatory reforms have been undertaken by government since 2016 to enhance the ease of doing business, ease of raising capital and reduce the compliance burden for the startup ecosystem. Then support for the intellectual property, right? Like, you know, whenever you're talking about a startup business, without the innovation, without the word innovation, it is not one of it. Whenever we're thinking about a startup, some kind of idea must be there. So in order to reduce the word burden, our dimension, the licensing system, government has given some kind of incentive, some kind of easiness to the people so that they can use the best of what have kind of idea. That means uh, intellectual property protection. Then self certification under labor and environmental law. So, ultimately, under this particular strategy, they have whatever they under nine labor and three environmental laws for a period of three to five years, they can certify their themselves so that ultimately they can uh, expand their, their expand their business. Then, income tax exemption for a three years. Initially, the government is giving the some kind of relaxation to these people who are starting the startup business. The startups are incorporated the F or after the first April 2006 and can apply for income tax exemption up to a maximum of uh, three years. Then international market access to Indian startups. So you see the, the startup initiative, the slogan has begun not only what in the perspective, right now the government is giving the numbers and process how it can be linked to the global economic system or the world startup ecosystem. And already 15 uh, major countries in the world have been tied up for the uh, expansion of the business opportunity for startup business throughout the country. Among this, the Brazil, Sweden, Russia, Portugal, UK, Finland, Netherlands, Singapore, Israel, Japan, Korea, Canada, Croatia, Qatar, and UAE. That means all these particular countries have, have tied up the Indian government in order to work, uh, boost that our Indian startup business initiatives. Then Startup India I mean, is another initiative, then Startup Social. So here, yeah, under the Startup, startup Social, the government has uh, taken the initiative to go for some kind of It's the finance technology, the enterprise technology, the social impact and health technology, the education technology that among the other. That means so now the different initiatives are taken by government of India in order to work strengthen this particular startup business. The National Startup Advisory Council. So 
it is another important skill undertaken by the government, the government of Jan the government of India, oh, I missed the word, in January 22, notified the constitution of the National Staff of Advisory Council to advise the government of, on measures to needed to build a strong ecosystem for the nursery, innovation and startup in the country to drive a sustainable economic growth and generate large scale employment opportunities. So, the startup India's uh, safe funds committee the under the scheme, the under this particular scheme already rupees 945 crore has been sanctioned under the SIS FS scheme for the period of four years starting from 2022 in order to boost the startup uh, sector. So, so these particular strategies are there, government initiatives are there, also elevations are there. So, what are actually real scenarios going on in Northeast India? So, whatever I have concluded as regarding materials that I found in the secondary sources, so these are actually upcoming only projects that are going to implement in the Northeastern state under the package of started, especially upon the rural policy because of the can share. So, these are kind of these are the new skills, these are new projects that are going for the Northeastern region in order to. So, we believe that if the, all these particular processes are implemented in due time, otherwise, what? It will directly or indirectly have the entire the startup business initiative throughout the Northwestern region. Road connectivity, air connectivity, rail connectivity, air So the question is that, so here, so initiatives are here. The journey of startup business is seven years old. Started in 2016. We are in the right now 2023. So it is already in nascent stage. So even after that, whatever I tried, whatever I understood that, whatever the impact on the uh, uh, impact of the startup is really issue on the economy and not is that. The I really I am also agree there because of time, lack of time, I could not so the in the economic analysis, I will come later on. So whatever theoretically I have understood. So what are the positive effects actually happening in our Northeastern economy? So in the first step, I can share that. So, development of labor intensive manufacturing sector. After the initiative of the what happened, start a business initiative toward the come, what happened, there is slightly sense and positions has occurred in terms of development intensive manufacturing sector. Starting from the what construction to here, our employment generation are increasing number one. So, ultimately, people are getting more and more chance to work in under this part of the package. But the question is that it violates the future competitive advantage. I have already mentioned in earlier slide that. If you really want to start up the startup business, we need a huge purpose fund. But the question is that when the huge purpose funds are required, based on the whatever the necessary resources we have put in the country, the small business enterprises can compete there. So ultimately, to some extent, we are deviating from them. Whenever we are allowing to start their business from other parts. So we are violating to some extent to them. So under this particular uh, startup business initiative, you see, so provide the refinance window through the CSB. CSB means small industrial development thing of India. They are the local agencies, they are actually providing the so numbers of financial assistance to the business establishment. But the question is that when the seed means giving the financial assistance at a less rate of interest, and even what I mean, other it boosts the cost for the flex as it provides a lower rate of interest than the other market. And ultimately, this particular financial assistance are losing after this particular business initiative. Then right now we are more than we are living in a digital technology, digital era. Under the digital company, although we are trying to digitalize all the sectors. Starting from the production to marketing. Ultimately, what I mean, national of the 500 dollars increasing, but ultimately, what I mean, small retailers need only the cash and cannot invest in the digital infrastructure. Once again, we know we are literate, but all people are decisions need not literate. Even at third day, we study also we call that particular problem. We are literate in the academic side, but decisions are not literate. For it, we are not in a position to use the technology in a proper sense. Ultimately, this is another lacuna here. That it empower and support an individual and small business through the financial system, but it makes only the 62 percent target of the government as per record 2016. So, another impact I feel is that the reduce the time taken by reduce the human interface by increasing the transparency. No doubt, we are living in a transparent area, all are open. But the question is that, but whenever we are trying to make some kind of data, some kind of research activity, so we are acting about less reliable data. The question is that when there are some initiatives that have it must be there side by side. Some kinds of scenarios are also there. The question is that we should not be what pessimistic, we must be optimistic. The question is that whether is there any hope, whatever the initial already undertaken by the government of India. So the question is that if we see the journey of startup business in initially, thus I am trying to show some from the what already established startup business from the North State. So you see, it is a 
alrhino paper alrhino paper is what the specialization in the making the handicraft paper from the down of one hundred writers and in the even is it famous if you search in the google you see how they are working for their income generation what is their turnover then gaupa khana this is the one of the initiative already the famous and popular established then annual taxi then bodila a band from the impal the online startup which basically caters to the lingering ways to address it and has become a major player of the Indian apparel industry. Then, Precious Mila is another one of the startup business industry that working in our Northeast India. And other person has by a girl in, from Nagaland, mainly based in the women's clothing, traditional Naga tools, accessories, and the cup, traditional jewelry. And ultimately, what about for their contributions toward the business initiative? They have received the award, Nari Shakti Puskar, in the year 2007 and also. Then, Suri Zanarik, IMC. It is a Manipur based startup that has come the leading herbal green tea manufacturing in North and India. Similarly, the Namahti, then the Dutchman. These are so many already newly established startup business institutes are there. So, if we go through the gap of what they are talking about, their activities, then we feel that we should not be the word pessimist, we must be optimistic. The question is that Sarah was already mentioned it previously. So, our attitude, our mindset should be sent positively so that. We can take the opportunity to cover it in order to work not only to work and our own livelihood, but also to work, give a better kind of work or to kind of job facility to the other people. So, with these few words, so in the conclusion, as I want to say that with the growing economy, increasing the technological advancement, disrupting the traditional business models, and the large pool of talented individuals, the scope for startup business in the Northeastern studies immense in various sunrise and sustainable development sector. It's a time to think the local for local for local and local to global. The question is that the regulatory issue, digital connectivity, proper roadmap for the digital in Northeast Indonesia, and funding programs are need to be addressed effectively. Even the process we want to work to become a sustainable or self sustained economy. So, with these viewers, I'd like to conclude my speech. Then. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Study and time, and then one thing that was coming to mind when I had to use the digital the digital the 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 Then I think uh, the actual reason for that is a very good study. Thank you, sir. Actually, I have some items, sir. So, trying to incorporate some information regarding after the initiative has brought up business, what is the actual status of the economy? Actually, so I have to make a comparison here. But whether it is a certain job, correlation analysis, or reduction analysis. So, the sample of the amount 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 of from last three months, evidence, but I know in the academic way the excuse is not actually to the one, it is not morally, but I have not also that I am not actually getting any kind of excuse from that. But really I am saying I am not trying to steal from my job. The question is that because of Sarah is a time limit, I am trying to actually install the 20 percent of my paper. I really say I am not as students of this particular area, 
But because of the different interest in this particular area, I am trying to get a particular paper. But it is not this particular. But even after that, I am so interested and trying to get a similar paper. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your presentation. Our next presenter is Dr. Kotam Chandra Dev from Navin Chandra Project. Sir, please try to make it a short. Expected uh, Chairperson, sir, Professor Jodhir Kushami, expected uh, reporter, ma'am, and all my expected teachers present here and all my uh, friends and ladies and gentlemen from the topic from the slide is that we to see what is the title here the title is startup india issues and challenges in the context of COVID. so many discussion was done on startup now if i would like to say what is a startup and why there is a need of startup so i will not devote much more time on what is a startup but little bit towards the life I would like to put forward uh, with respect to startup. So, in fact, Startup India is an initiative taken by the government of India in 2016. Now, the question is that what is its main objective? With the, with the object to create uh, that is entrepreneurship and to create an, uh, that is startup ecosystem for the startup business. And one more thing is that that startup that scheme is designed in such a way so that the people get people can create employment opportunity As, hashtag we can say that the main motto one of the motto of startup india is that to create your uh, it should be job creator as opposed to the job seeker so this is my intro part so as i there is a running of shot i'm jumping to the our cup of tea so our cup of tea is uh, not going that is to examine the various issues and challenges faced by startup business in Goragaya and highlights some of the survival strategies for the startup business operating in India. So uh, this is a secondary uh, source I am not going in research methodology. Here I have highlighted research uh, issues and challenges for startup in the context of Goragaya. But if I say by standing here that that issues and challenges is only exclusively related to Boragri that will not be uh, that is good one it, it can be the issues and challenges of Boragri it can be related to other parts of the country as well so first the issues and challenges there is funding challenge it's not about startup it can be any type of business we can say MSC, micro, small, medium and large enterprises it's all there is a problem is funding not of funds are available but the question is that if it is an established one, everybody will welcome you. There are so many. You can you can have your you can have your fund from your friends, relatives, banks, loan, angel investor, venture capitalist. But if your business is a new year, new one, and if you have an excellent idea, there is no issue with that. But the problem is that how far your plan or innovative idea will work. That's really a question, but so that's why it it really is challenging tax uh, to go or to get the required amount uh, for startup business. So in the context of Boragali, as I said, it can be related in other parts of the country as well. Second is that hiring right person. Once you have taken your decisions to start a business, it's very important to have a right person. The right person can be your co-founder. So that right person is very difficult for the startup or entrepreneur to you will hire someone and you will work uh, that someone will work for your business is really a challenging task. Second is that uh, next point is that impacting marketing on limited budget. So we understand there is a saying that Joe Dikta or Dikta. So what does it mean? So you have your idea, but that should be marketized. You have your innovative idea, but if you are not if you are not marketing your product, so that should not uh, that will not work. But the, as a startup is that they may have limited budget, but it is very important that all should be kept in mind that with that limited budget, their their product should reach to the target audience so that they can capture the market. 
dealing with stress next what is dealing with stress there is as an entrepreneur it is there is no doubt that you have to you have to deal with the stress it may be related with your family it may be related with your business but you should not obtain i mean to say you should not you cannot be mixed up with your family stress with the business so if you are if you want to run your business every day then stress will come but as an entrepreneur you need to be very strong and calm so for that you need to uh, deal with that stress in order to run the business successfully facing failure as our speaker chairman uh, chairman sir told there is a there is a fa failure of uh, there is facing of failure it's really a big problem we have in our divide we want to implement but the thing is that it is not like that every everyone everybody wants to be mba chai wala but it is not like that everybody everybody will like mba chai wala but we have in our divide but we are very much fear to uh, you know uh, there is a facing of failure yes you as an entrepreneur you need to take risks it is not like that everybody will get at ready made but the thing is that once you are doing business you have idea you just try to implement but the thing is that if you are failing from failure what would that failure should teach you that failure will teach you whatever the mistake that we did so from that mistake we we'll try to recover we we'll try to rectify i need to start from the point of the entrepreneur lack of awareness this is also great we have idea but we are very much We are we are not able how to run how to run a startup business successfully. How much they can contribute to the nation? This is also a question mark. Lack of patents. Yes, this is also another problem. We want to we want to we want to start, but which is the right way to go? Which one is the right way? This is also so that's why in that context we can say that there is a lack of knowledge of mentorship. And industry knowledge is also one of the essential challenges. Lack of IT infrastructure. IT infrastructure is yes, now everybody is. We just talk about digital India, but in Bora Valley there are so many urban and rural areas there. While IT infrastructure is not so developed. Yes, you want to run your business via online, but at the same time it is good. But the thing is that the customer every time the customer may not get the benefit. And the business cannot may not reach to the uh, that is uh, target audience. And high competition, of course, as you are doing business, you have to face competition. There is no doubt with that. But that, that but but thing is that if you are doing business, you need to face competition. But uh, if it is an established one, there is no problem. But if it is a new one, so they generally face the problem of competition. As it was, uh, as as we will be getting, there are so many regulatory barriers uh, which have been simplified, but still there are some lacunas there. Lack of market understanding. What does it mean, market understanding? Market understanding. Say, suppose we have one product, we want to launch it, but the thing is that without survey, without proper survey, without doing research, what the customer want, what the customer need. So if we Without survey or without research of market survey, if we go for it, uh, there is launch of new product, and there may be chances of failure. Then accordingly, uh, poor infrastructure, uh, then revenue generation. This is also one. Yes, everybody is thinking that as I told, everybody wants to be a MBA chairman or a physics baller. It's a uh, unicorn company. So as I say, if I start go for a startup, then I will be the physics baller unicorn company. But you may initially you may start. And sometimes it may come the revenue will not generate enough, enough, enough revenue. But every time that revenue is not certain. It is not like that. Revenue generation, yes, sometimes it may up and down. But you have to face that situation. And supporting uh, infrastructure, there are so many uh, uh, supporting infrastructure which is given by the government, but it's really a lacking of behind. So as uh, some of the initiatives taken by the our earlier speaker told, some of the initiatives are not going in details. Like Mudra Bank is going to grow the small business through this scheme. Startup can get loan from the bank to set up, grow, and stabilize the business. Similarly, uh, India Inspiration Aspiration Fund is established to encourage startup ecosystems. Uh, Smile said we make it India loan for small businesses not to pro provide soft loan to uh, MSME. Similarly, uh, startup exchange and uh, said to uh, self. Utilization and talent utilization, which provides technical assistance and implementation to startup. Government has allotted one thousand crore in order to create 
opportunity for uh, self employment and new jobs maybe technology driven uh, domain and then uh, startup incubation parts are set to create ecosystem for uh, startup india regulatory action has been simplified for startup tech transition as our early speaker told then uh, then other similarly uh, government launch e this model that integrates fourteen regulatory permission and force of so to conclude we can say this in fact there is plethora of opportunities are there uh, for startup but what are opportunities must be clearly uh, this and what are opportunities is that but that opportunity will be accompanied by challenges you have to you have to face their challenges and as a in fact it is a joint effort from the government part as well as from the start, uh, startup to run but to start the venture very smoothly so this is all about my presentation thank you so much for very good now there are the paper is not full there are some yes because i uh, time was uh, uh, not in the position sir your paper is based on primary data the no, study no, no, or the second actually the reasons for the paper there is very there is a yeah, yeah. you go to the people for the time duration, what are the points that is common? In case if there is common, but uh, not so much. I have just talked to some of the businessmen. You have to find your something out there. Yes. Go and meet the people, meet the business people, and start up. Some points, other than these two things, that is your track of research. Whatever is available, they are all in the internet. They are all in the other sectors. If you present the same thing, you, you will not find this paper doing well. So go to the people, ask them. Very short, very short. Very short. Very short. Very short. Very short. Okay, thank you very much then. Uh, we will end up this session now. Another paper uh, was there. We can be adjusted in the next session. This is the last time we're going to ask you to do it. So this is the last time. Yes. Go ahead and join for that. Thank you. Thank you. So it's uh, nearly about the lunch time, and we had listened to two papers presented now we are thankful to our resource person dr jayati goswami and also the reporter of this session dr rupali gaurav jo over the for the support i also thank the participants and also thank the guests guests who are present here we shall be back in the post session and continue the continue with the other presentations thank you Thank you, sir. So, sir, please come here. Please, for not taking your plan, may go and take the bus. My unit for. And sir, thank you, Mr. Rupali. You take lunch and come back. Others, please get seated. Those who take your seat.